Hey, what's up, Kings? Livy Damien here, and I'm going to tell you why looks are very important for women, especially when it comes to men. And don't let anybody lie to you otherwise. You'll hear a lot of people say, oh, looks are important. What matters on the inside? To some degree, yes. But, you know, the first interaction anybody has is your looks. You're going to get judged based off your looks immediately. If you come in, um, you know, your car will make you judge. People judge you on the car brand you drive, and that's super shallow. And you got to realize there's a lot of super shallow people out there. Don't let them deter you on how you want to live your life. Same as when they'll tell you, be humble or don't be cocky or be cocky or be a dick and all that bullshit and put all these connotations. They're part of life. They're there. You just need to learn how to basically take them in and decide if they really matter to you or they don't. Women want somebody who is taking care of themselves. They don't want somebody with mommy issues. So basically, if you don't know what guys, if you don't know what mommy issues are, it's basically guys that want a woman to take care of them, clean, cook, wash, laundry, everything for them. They don't want that. If you go out into the real world, go out to your bar and ask them if they like a dude with mommy issues, not happening. If you spend 20 minutes a day, I, I don't think you should obsess with it. We're all born um, and we can only do with what's what we were given. You know, if you're only five foot three, you're going to have to work with five foot three, you know, wear a little bit taller shoes, you know, get the basketball shoes that have a little bit like two or three inches on the bottom. So you get the five, six, five, seven, you just have to work with what you got. Um, and unfortunately the truth is life is easier if you're better looking. So in my opinion, um, that's why I advise for men to get a haircut every two weeks, you know, have a clean wardrobe, nice style. Don't, don't be always wearing the same black outfit every day during the day or at night. At night, black can work, but during the day, you're out of you're out of line. In my sense, is I think a white outfit would be much better during the day. Looks do matter for the first few interactions, um, for the first few dates, for the first time you're meeting somebody, for the first interview, you have a job. Looks do matter in that sense. And the saying of that looks don't matter comes. After the fact, if you've learned somebody, after you've seen them, that's where their personality kicks in and that's where the personality matters. Because once you get old, that's where the personality matters. But, you know, imagine you're trying to ask all these girls on dates and you're not a very good looking guy because you don't take care of yourself. You know, you got um, your beard, you've accidentally trimmed half your beard, you got stains on your shirt. And to that extreme, of course, you're not going to get anybody. And I guess the best question you got to ask yourself is why shouldn't a woman want somebody that's good looking? The same as a guy wants a girl that's good looking, you know, the same. And then afterwards, all the personalities and the hobbies and whatever you want to build afterwards, that's where it starts all to kick in and come in together full circle. You know, I take it like for my, why shouldn't my girlfriend want me to be attractive, good looking? And why shouldn't I want her to be good looking? Because when we have kids, I'll want them to be good looking and have the best, best life possible. There's nothing wrong with admitting and saying that. Um, I just think a lot of people that are dealt wrong hands is they want to take out this negativity. And I think you got to stay away from those people that just want to put you down constantly by either telling you, trying to literally people that want to tell you how to live your life, like don't drive certain cars too loud or your, your outfits are too flashy or this or that. Stay away from those people at all costs because they have a very closed minded like lifestyle and life outlook and they're just going to ruin you and then when you're sucking in life they're just going to dip because they have no more value to suck out of you a good example is so my girlfriend's very attractive the most attractive woman ever for me absolutely and you know when i i have a very handsome dog his name is max he's a collie a rough collie and when he goes out on walks with me people comment that he's handsome or he's so pretty when my girlfriend walks in because he's very attractive dog to like eye pleasing, basically what happens is the amount of guys that come up to her and are like, oh my God, your dog's so pretty or all this. And they try and make a move on her just because she has a basically a very good attractive looking dog that's kind of like an entry point towards a pickup line is absurd. So that's where like imagine if she had like an ugly ass dog, guys will still try and hit on her. But if there's a dog that they can kind of see a big dog that's like beautiful in relation to her being beautiful it's kind of like it's an overload of like wow i wonder what she's up to what she does and it's just an entry point for them to get the conversation started you know off a dog and then try and lead next dinner it's happened so many times she's just walking my dog and she gets asked out to dinner
Think about how you want to look, what you want in your life, and make that happen and a priority in your life. Looks, I'll finish with this, should not be solely for the purpose of getting women. It should absolutely not. It should be for yourself and for the betterment of yourself or your relationship. That's my time, guys. Thank you for watching a lot of high value. Rewind the tape. Lots of great content coming out. Make sure to subscribe, like, support the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.